It's only day three of phase three in Season of Discovery, but so far Sims are showing that wind serpents are indeed still the best pet for hunters. Core hounds, they seem pretty good, almost as good as wind serpents, but if you want to truly min-max, wind serpents are showing that they are the best, although it is still very early and things could change. But assuming that you decide you want to go ahead and tame a wind serpent, you want to make sure you have the wind serpent with the highest rank abilities possible. And in phase three, that is rank three dive and rank five lightning breath. The good news is both of these abilities come from the same wind serpent, but the bad news is it's inside Sunken Temple. Sunken Temple is indeed the phase three raid for Season of Discovery. You are able to tame this while you're in your raid, but in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can tame the wind serpent as a solo player. So when it comes to solo taming the wind serpent, it's not as simple as just walking in and seeing the first enemy within the instance. Um, we do need to get by several enemies in order to successfully locate the first wind serpent in the dungeon and then tame them. Um, there's, there's a few things you need to take into consideration here. One, you will want to run a survival spec. This spec should include clever traps, trap mastery, improved feign death, and wyvern sting. Also, you're going to want to bring a few potions. I'd bring probably five of each just to be safe. This may take you a few tries. Um, invisibility and lesser invisibility potions uh, have a different cooldown. They're, they're on a separate cooldown. You'll want to bring both of them as we will be sneaking by several mobs. And last but not least, you just need to bring a pet um, that you will ultimately abandon. So we only have three stable slots, which is really rough as um, I think there's a lot of interesting pets we could use. Well, namely, I'm interested in using Cat, Wind, Serpent, and Core Hound in this phase, and we have exactly three stable slots. So I brought my old Wind Serpent to abandon for the new ones with the higher rank spells. Okay, so when you first enter Sunken Temple, you wanna head to the right and go down the ramp. There is a patrol here. We'll need to hit this guy with an ice trap. Um, just a note here, if this guy's at the lower end of the ramp, you probably want to wait for him to be towards the top of the ramp here because we need that frost trap to be off cooldown for the next group of enemies. One other small note is if you have a different configuration of enemies here, you want to actually just leave and reset the dungeon until you see these mobs that I have in front of me. Okay, here at the bottom of the ramp, we're going to actually send our wind serpent in to attack. Once he attacks, we're going to immediately pull him back and then run by. Get by the enemies, drop your frost trap soon after, try not to get hit and staggered here. Hopefully our wind serpent dies. Mine's only level 40 and he hasn't died yet, which is kind of remarkable. And then we just need to get by this big guy and hopefully this slime doesn't kill us as well. So use your ice trap here to lock one down, get to the wall. I'm going to use a health pot here just to be safe and then faint right in this corner. Okay, so I'm feigned in the corner, but I did use a health potion, which means I need to wait two minutes for my potion cooldown to be available once again. But there's a few other things that we actually need to consider here. You'll notice I put a skull on that slime that patrols through. We need to keep an eye on that. I'm watching the minimap to see where he's going. He will actually patrol all the way to the base of that staircase we came down, and then he'll patrol back. So it's a very long, very slow patrol. Um, I'm gonna get up and just bandage, fully heal up here, and now I'm waiting on two things. I'm waiting until my feign death cooldown is just about ready, and I'm waiting for my potion cooldown to be just about ready. So I'm actually gonna shadow meld in this situation. You can stay feigned longer if you also use the health potion here. If you didn't, you can just start moving. Once you're ready to continue moving, make sure you activate aspect of the cheetah first, then use either your lesser or your regular invisibility potion and run through this area. I suggest staying on the upper part. You notice I'll get clipped kind of in the corner. That was a mistake, kind of freaking out for a second there, but get past that one rope that's interactable, get to the corner and feign death in that corner. Now we're gonna wanna get up and resurrect our pet. Once your pet has been revived, just heal it up to full. Um, I was a little worried here as my pet is only level 40. I thought maybe he would pull the mobs around the wall. Sometimes aggro can be weird like that, but basically we're using our pet here as a distraction so we can run to that rope and grab it and then get to the top of the platform above us. So now that he's all healed up, 
I'm gonna put aspect of the monkey on, send the pet in, run in immediately, grab the rope, get to the top. Ice trap one of these enemies to just kind of get by, get through here. If you wanna um, just kind of get to this corner anywhere away from their aggro range, feign, and then this is a fairly safe spot against this wall. Once you're in this location, you just wanna make sure you heal up once again, so use some bandages or eat some food, whatever you wanna do. And then we're gonna type slash tar or slash target spawn. And we're just trying to find the, the spawn of Hakar. And then we wanna mark the spawn of Hakar with a skull. Now he was right outside the room at this moment. And I, I really was kind of afraid to go and grab him as there are other mobs waiting and lurking. And that would have been kind of problematic here. So wanting to capitalize on the positioning and knowing he's right there, I used my invisibility potion and that was a mistake. I should have waited for that slime that just patrolled into that path to come in and killed that slime right there. As a result, I got put myself in a situation where um, I started the fight with the spawn of Akara, this wind serpent, to try to get the kill. The slime immediately came up behind me patrolling faster than I had anticipated and that was far from optimal. So. Um, you don't want to do it this way. You do want to wait for that slime to dip into that room and then kill it. Use your pet, have your pet available for that, and, and get the slime out of your way. Once you've killed the slime and you no longer need it, it's time to say goodbye to your pet. Abandon whichever pet you brought in with you because we will no longer need it here. Then you want to use the invisibility potion and get to this location here. Um, I'm just in a clear spot in the hallway and waiting for the spawn of a car to patrol back. He will come back from the initial way he went. Um, again, in, in my situation, I, I kind of bungled this and I was lucky to have Shadow Mel to let the slime patrol by, but the actual taming process is as follows. You want to actually open with Wyvern Stink, put him to sleep, drop a freezing trap, then start the taming process. The freezing trap is really just your backup, your fallback. The Wyvern Sting will more or less be enough time for him to be tamed. Um, in this situation, uh, I get the tame through just about as he gets to me, like maybe a second later, and I now have the slime attacking him. But assuming you did this in the correct order and you already killed the slime, you don't have to worry about that. You've now tamed yourself a wind serpent with rank five lightning breath and rank three dive, which will be potentially your ideal pet here for phase three. Um, I will be exploring and comparing the wind serpent and the core hound and even cats going into this phase. Um, it's still kind of unknown if we're gonna see like a lone wolf melee weave hunter play style be the best play style or if we're gonna see Beast Mastery ranged um, be the best play style for ranged hunter. Melee hunter is looking very strong, but ranged hunter is looking much stronger than it did in phase two. Um, there's still a lot of testing, a lot of things to figure out on that front, but those videos and that information will be to come. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. Good luck out there, GG's, and have fun.